The Challenger II main battle tank, MBT, has served the British Army with distinction since it entered service in 1998, proving its worth notably in the Iraq War of 2003. However, despite its many strengths, the Challenger II's design dates back to the 1990s. In a rapidly evolving battlefield, the need for modernization has become clear. As the British Army looks ahead, it has decided not to develop an entirely new tank but instead to upgrade the Challenger II, transforming it into the new cutting-edge Challenger III, CR3. Rather than invest in a brand new platform, the British Army opted for a more cost-effective approach by upgrading its current fleet through the LIFE EX Tension, LEX, program. This decision will enhance the existing Challenger 2 stock by integrating new technology and capabilities while retaining some key elements of the original design. The LEX program includes the introduction of a completely new turret and significant modifications to the Challenger 2's hull, resulting in a formidable fighting machine designed to counter modern threats. The modernization effort is being led by Rainmetal Bay Systems Land RBSL, a joint venture between Germany's Rainmetal and the UK's Bay Systems. This partnership was formed after both companies submitted separate LEX proposals in 2018 and 2019, ultimately leading to a merger to simplify the decision-making process for British defence authorities. The Challenger 3 will retain the fundamental structure of the Challenger 2 but incorporate substantial upgrades. The new version is expected to weigh around 73 tons and maintain the traditional track and wheel arrangement. Internally, the tank will house a four-man crew with the driver positioned in the center of the hull and the remaining crew, commander, gunner, and loader, situated in the new turret. The power pack, consisting of the engine and transmission system, will be located at the rear. One of the key upgrades is the addition of new generation armor to increase survivability in modern warfare. This will include the highly effective Israeli Rafael Trophy Active Protection System APS, which provides real-time defense against anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs and rocket-propelled grenades RPGs. The trophy system has been proven on various battlefields and will significantly enhance the tank's ability to survive in hostile environments. The Challenger 3 will be powered by a Perkins CV12-9 AV12 diesel engine, though the exact horsepower output has not been disclosed. This engine will be paired with a David Brown Engineering TN54E transmission system, which features six forward gears and two reverse gears, allowing for smooth operation in a variety of terrains. The vehicle will also be equipped with a Horseman third-generation Hydrogas suspension system, designed to enhance its cross-country mobility. Perhaps the most significant change in the Challenger 3 is the replacement of the Challenger 2's excellent 120mm L30A1 rifled gun with a new 120mm L55A1 smoothbore main gun. Developed by Rainmetal, the L55A1 offers superior penetration at long ranges and greater accuracy when firing on the move. This is the same gun used in Germany's Leopard 2 tanks, improving interoperability between key NATO allies. The integration of digital fire control systems will further boost the tank's combat effectiveness. The British Army plans to acquire 148 Challenger 3 tanks, with initial operating capability IOC, expected by 2027 and full operational capability FOC, projected for around 2030. Production will take place at facilities in the UK, ensuring that the modernization effort supports local industry while strengthening national defence. In summary, the transition from Challenger 2 to Challenger 3 marks a significant step forward in maintaining the UK's armoured warfare capabilities. The new upgrades will ensure that the British Army has a modern, powerful and survivable main battle tank that can meet the challenges of 21st century warfare while benefiting from shared logistics and compatibility with NATO allies. The Challenger 3 represents the future of British armoured forces, combining tried and tested engineering with cutting-edge technology.